Hey guys, it's Daniel here. Um, today I decided to make a game of Snake in Assembly. You've all played Snake, it's just a way of life. So, but enough about that, let's get into how this thing works. So, the frame buffer is the actual bitmap display and its location in memory. XVAL and YVAL are the velocities. X position and Y position are where the snake is, the head of the snake. Tail is where the tail is. This number is different is because it's based upon the bitmap display value. Um, X and Y apple are the positions for the apple. And then we have four variables here called snake up, down, left, right. These are all green and they're going to be used to paint the snake. So the only difference between them is that their first byte, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, are the difference and it will help us tell you know, which direction the snake is. Then we have some constant variables, x conversion, y conversion, because we need to convert the x position to a bitmap display value that our assembly program can read. All right, so now to get into the program. We start off by drawing the background gray, and then we draw the walls around it. There are gonna be black walls, top, bottom, left, right. And we get to our actual game function. You know, most games have loops. They run with a loop. And the only time you exit the loop is when you want to quit the game. Same thing here. So the first thing we do is we uh, read the input from the user. And then we have a sleep function. So this sleep function is what controls our frame rate. Uh, for Snake, you should have a general, generally lower frame rate. So I decided to make it about 15 can make it less, can make it faster. It's up to everyone. And then once we see what the key press is, we decide where to go. So if W, we move up, S, we move down, and so on. So these functions, move up, move down, they're practically all the same. The only difference is, is that they load either snake up, snake down, so um, once there, we call the update snake function, just down here. So in the update snake function, we first draw the head. Uh, we have to convert the x, y position, as I said before, to bitmap values. And once we get our bitmap value, then we can store the green color and direction of the snake onto our bitmap display. Next, we set the velocity and this also depends on the whether the snake's going up, down, left, or right. And we set the velocities accordingly. Uh, once we've set the velocities, we have to do some head checks to make sure, you know, we haven't run into a wall ourselves or an apple. So if we run into an apple, we then will spawn a new apple, draw it, and exit the function. Exit the loop so that it can restart. If the head's not an apple and it's not a valid square, meaning it's a wall or itself, it will quit the program, essentially game over. If it is valid, then we have to remove the tail because we make a new head, but we have to remove the tail from the behind. That's how snake works. So we replace the tail with a background color. And we have to update the tail so that we get the next tail which is also used by using snake up, snake down, and depending on that. So update snake head position, updates the new position from the snake head, which is used by the velocities. We simply add the velocity to the position. This draw apple converts the apple x and y coordinates to a bitmap display and draws the red pixel onto our sp screen. And the new apple location, once we pick up an apple, is using syscall42, which is a random int generator. It's a value between 0 and 63 as our upper bound, as it's 64 pixels wide. And then we do another conversion so that we can store it on the right place. All right, but enough of that, you know, majority here are here to actually see the gameplay. 
So let's open up our bitmap display. And we also open up our keyboard input. Let's make it smaller. So we need to set it to 8 for both height and width. The rest of the values are fine. Let's connect both of them to our Mars. And let's play. Well, good start already. All right. So as you can see, we slowly start growing as a regular game of Snake. About the right frame rate, I would say. 15. Oh, and there we died. So as you can see, running into a wall dies. The game finishes, as you can see in our console. Alright, well, let's try again. Let's run into ourselves. So one thing I have to note is that once you press play, you have to click on to this keyboard display so you can actually type in your characters, otherwise it won't input anything. So another weird thing about this Mars, let's say, is that sometimes Mars freezes up and the game crashes. Uh, I haven't figured out why this happens. It just happens occasionally. Um, sometimes I think it's one potential theory is due to pressing many keys at the same time. I'm not quite sure if that's right. Well, anyway, you know, thanks for watching. Make sure to like. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Um, no, but thank you for watching. You know, uh, there'll be a link to the GitHub so you can download it, play it yourself if you feel like it. All right. See you guys.